Yamaha got a new paint booth in 2016 for the XT250 that carried over into 2017 for a nice mineral blue instead of the Team Yamaha blue slash white that it has had since 2014. For 2018, it comes in sandy beige. The XT250 has come in some combination of blue and white since 2012 so you have to go all the way back to 2011 to find a red in the mix. I'm glad someone woke up and added not blue. Two things that I find notable each one not so much individually, but together, yes are the relatively low seat height and, and the more than adequate ground clearance. Off-road bikes are usually quite tall, so the seat height of less than 32 inches is low for an off-road capable bike, yet the ground clearance is a skosh over 11 inches still quite respectable. Kudos Yamaha. The XT250 handles very nicely, even at low speeds and given that the turning angle is 51 degrees almost into trials bike territory and has a short wheelbase, it's no surprise that it has a super tight turning radius and maneuverability worth mentioning and it's lightweight only 291 pounds. The compact LCD instrument panel has green background lighting. It's supposed to make it easier to see, and I suppose it does, but I prefer analog gauges. Those dials are easier for me to read at a glance, but they do add weight to the handlebars that would not be welcome here. Anything that sticks out is vulnerable when heading off into the woods, so the flex mounted turn signals are a check in the plus column. When you take a street legal bike off the pavement into the woods, you want it to still be street legal when you come out. Yamaha wants you to believe the seat is comfortable. I'm not going to endorse that, but it is as too up friendly as I've seen. The XT250 has frame mounted passenger foot pegs for those times you want to take off with a friend. As far as the highway goes, you're okay. The XT250 cruises at 60 miles per hour without having to wind it up tighter than Dick's handband, but stay off the interstate. I don't think you can get 70 miles per hour out of it, at least not for any length of time. As a commuter or a bopping around town bike, it's awesome. For heading off for some light off road fun, you've got it made. You'll have to decide if the 2.6 gallon fuel tank is enough for your travels. <laughs>